Hi guys, today we're going to tell you the story about how this hideous coronavirus became an extreme corona beer party in oh, Norway. Oh, that joke is old. I know it's old, but it's very true when it comes to Norway. I'm here at my home office because all of Norway, we cannot go out, it's full lockdown. And some guys, some of you guys might think, can they make humor out of this? And we reflected upon that. Because it's... Of course we can! The coronavirus, it brings up and reflects who Norwegians are as people and our culture. Because you know, in Norway, for instance, social distancing, as I know the whole world is talking about now, keep one meter away from each other wherever you are. For us Norwegians, that's easy. We do it all the time. What's the problem? Yeah, and in a way, coronavirus shouldn't actually uh, be a problem in Norway due to this social distancing. But there's a reason why we are actually one of the most infected countries in the world. Are we? We are! Oh, help! It's just... Uh, and that's why we have antibuck. Oh, a lot of antibuck. Get some! <laughs> get some. Uh, Guys, we are here in Norway, we are in a full lockdown, really. I have home office, Mats has a home office, you cannot go to school, you cannot go to university, hairdressers, tattoo shops, everything is locked down. You cannot travel abroad, you cannot do anything. You have it's a holiday! Actually, it is. Because in Norway, this lockdown we have each year, it's called Christmas, because then everything is closed. Uh, uh, so we are kind of used to it. But it's a problem for Norwegian, because a lockdown or a Christmas holiday means that you have to stay home. <laughs> with your family. Oh my god! Yes, no. and in an ordinary Christmas vacation this uh, stay together is only about three four days but this time this extreme Christmas party we have to stay together for three four weeks. I have to stay together with my family for three weeks? Yes, and I know... I rather prefer Corona. Yeah, and you know, it's, it, it will be bloody and it will be bruises within, uh, this is, uh, within these different homes and families. But I think we will manage. And some guys, you might ask, how are the elderly, those in the risk zone? Mm, kind of no problem in Norway actually, because most elderly people, I'm sorry, are isolated the whole year because we are too occupied with kids and youth. You can check more out of this in our video, how is it to be a kid in Norway? There, there we explain uh, this phenomenon. It's no happy ending. Yeah, and when back to the lockdown, you know what? The government, they asked us, uh, please Norway and Norwegians, we ask you, and they said this very important word, culture key word in Norway called dugnad. It's really hard to translate to English. Yeah, it's like a common labor thing without uh, getting paid. No, for it. it's volunteer work, charity work, community work, but it's also kind of force, normative force. And, and the authorities asked us, please all Norwegians, now we have to have this common dugnad. And most of us actually, me included, and I think much too, we're like, okay, we will stay at home, we will have no contact with others, we will not go public transportation. No problem. But, and there's a but, there are three things that must always be open, and that's of course the drugstore, uh, that's a given. The pharmacy. The pharmacy, uh, the grocery store, of course we need food. And toilet paper. And everything, as you can see here, Mats. <laughs> Mats, is it you? <laughs> okay. That's the most important stuff. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna survive. And you have bought, uh, is it bread? Yeah. Okay. So it's, uh, it's carbs at least. It's carbs and it's uh, for, for the growth. <laughs> you have to protect yourself before going to the shop. Wow. This is very professional. Yeah. 
this, so and this, what this, this, what do you think this, this bag is full this, of this this are found on the street so i think it's very safe and um, look toilet paper of course we all need it and bananas, bananas. Yes. we eat and we eat uh, 17 kilos of it and but uh, what's here it's nothing what's here it's a uh, liver pate L uh, what's here it's liver what's pate. the big bags Oh, what's in here? Look what Mats. Okay. Oh, it's because it's a, it's, a, it's a Corona party. Yeah, of course. So in because his survival beer. kit, it's mostly beer, isn't it? We are told to stay home and, and, and uh, here's, cigarettes. Here's for the yeah. <laughs> and this one. Mats is really occupied with his health and, and taking one. care of himself. It's what is all, that? It looks very medical. Yeah. But as most of the Norwegians, when we are in this lockdown, Corona lockdown, what do we do? We do as much, we buy beer. I hate you. And, I want to but our state-owned, state-run liquor store needs to be open. Because as you can see here, where's the queue? It's not when it comes to food or uh, drug pharmacy stuff. It's here in this line. These are Norwegians trying to get into the uh, liquor store and hoarder. It's like uh, Christmas. Yes, these three big boxes of red wine, white wine, and everything. Because if we are going to stay home with our families for three or four weeks, we need a lot of alcohol. And of course, the problem now is the, for the police, because uh, yesterday there were news that police were warning against Corona parties. Quarantine parties. Ca quarantine parties, Corona free parties, because there was a lot of youths that are not at school and they think, well, it doesn't affect us because we are young, we will not get sick. And why shouldn't we have a party? People here are not so serious about the consequences because we think that we will be okay and the government has said that yes we will pay and blah blah blah. We will keep this society alive. We got oil. We got oil. But you know that we are so rich and that's why uh, we are so infected with coronavirus because <laughs> Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we have winter holiday. That's one week uh, for all families to take. And what do rich people in Norway, where we have a lack of snow just now, what do we do? We go to the Alp, Alps, to Italy, to o Austria. And they came home full loaded with this uh, coronavirus. They flushed the whole country with the uh, coronavirus actually. Some psychologists in Norway, when, when they are asked, okay, how should Norwegian cope with this situation when they not, cannot go out to restaurant bars and so on? And, and they say, then you can, uh, and this is very Norwegian, you can go, you can go på tur meaning that you can do hiking and trekking in the nature that's the answer to everything, everything no all all problems if you have Be, yeah. cancer or, or problems with your mental health or problems within your family or whatever and now with coronavirus have a good walk or cross country ski yeah then that, everything will yeah, be okay and, and that's why uh, it's Tons of people went to their cabins and will stay there for over Eastern. So they will have a month long combined home office. But they are infecting others. People don't want them to come. And that's a huge problem because these uh, counties where you have these cabins, they their health system is actually prepared for three, four thousand, Norway is a small country, and now they have like 30, 40, 50 thousand in their uh, communities. So really it's a huge problem and it's a very egoistic and we are very privileged. And you can actually be a bit concerned about how rich Norwegian act, how egoistic we are and how we don't care about others. And, but it's gonna be boring. <laughs> and the only thing we know to kill boredom in Norway... <laughs> this was our video from the Corona hit Norway. 
where we used Corona beer as a remedy for boredom, lockdown and alcohol. isolation. Yeah, alcohol is our way of coping. And uh, well, if you uh, like what you see, uh, subscribe, push the bell and just enjoy our material. And share with us all your fun stories, grave stories, tragic stories. I mean, we have to share, guys. We are in it together. And that's kind of the hope I have for this corona situation. We are all in it together. Okay? We love you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a beer. That's the advice from Norway. Bye!